Hey, Lexi here. Like a lot of artists here on YouTube, I went to an art college. In my case, I did six years of art college, and I'll definitely make a video someday about how that happened. But today, I'm going to tell you about a specific class I took in my senior year as an illustration major. The entire class was dedicated to having us make a picture book. At first, this was going to be my favorite class. A chance to draw one of my short stories into a mini book? Sign me up! And at first, it was great. It wasn't until we got to the actual illustration part of the class that things turned hairy. My school is a little strange. In order to major in animation, you first need to major in illustration for two years. The main problem with this setup is, it made it seem like illustration meant about the same thing as let's teach you how to make cartoons before you learn how to make them move. Oh boy, is that not how they did things. If anything, they taught it more like an anti-fine arts major. If fine art is all about learning how to make art that makes you feel something, and then you try to sell it for a living, illustration is about creating art for other people. It doesn't matter how you feel about it as long as the other person paying for it is happy. While this makes sense and I never had a problem with it, it did start to feel like being the fry cook of the art world. And boy, did the other art majors make it feel like that for us too. Now, as the front cook of artists, it was our job to treat our professors like our practice clients. Meaning, the grade completely depended on the professor liking the art, no matter what we thought we wanted to make instead. Almost every professor I had really hated to get anything even remotely cartoony out of us. As the kid that mainly wanted to be an artist, to go into animation and make cartoons, this posed kind of a problem for me. I spent a solid four years getting the thick black lines I love taken away from me because there are no black outlines in the real world. You gotta go by the book! Follow the rules! The picture book class was no different. In fact, it was even harder for me because of the second rule that wasn't technically a rule, either. One of the first days of the class, my professor told us we needed to tell him in advance what medium we were going to make our picture book in, especially if he wanted to do digital art. We especially need permission for that, because he was only going to let up to five of us, out of 25, use digital. If I remember correctly, only three of us, including me, did that. Everyone else either didn't like working digitally, which is completely understandable, or they knew what I didn't figure out yet. This professor didn't like digital art. Now, over the course of four years in illustration, I learned very quickly that most of my professors liked to tell me I was bad at mediums, but didn't want to tell me how to improve. This isn't a sculpture. A good sculpture takes more time. We had plenty of figure drawing classes, digital art classes, and how to make your client happy type classes, but not much of anything on how to use colored pencils, watercolor, acrylic, etc. You either already knew how to do that or tried a different medium before you got a bad grade. Since I actually liked digital art and had actual digital art classes on how to improve, I felt most confident working that way whenever I had the option. And that didn't come along too often, so I jumped at the opportunity. When I asked if I can use digital for this class, my professor stared down at me, thinking a moment before telling me, too many cooks. I had to actually look this up because I never heard this before. The expression, too many cooks, spoil the broth which means too much of one thing will surely ruin something. I asked if five people already asked him. He avoided my question. I couldn't understand how there could be too many digital artists and how that would ruin the art. Again, if I had any idea the problem was this professor just flat out wasn't going to like anything digital, I would have picked something else, but instead he made it seem like he just didn't want too much of it for some strange reason. After a while, I did convince him to let me do it digitally because I'm a very stubborn little person, and boy did that make everything so much harder for me. So in this class I had two handicaps. I was working in a medium the professor was never going to like, no matter what I made. And I wasn't supposed to work in a cartoony style. That was especially frustrating since I was making a picture book. So, in an unholy alliance of realistic yet awkward looking sketches that I'd make in class, mixed with digital coloring at home, as if the sketch was an underpainting. 
My professor hated every single picture I made for the book, no matter how much critiquing and advice I got and however much I tried to drastically change each one. He'd keep telling me, I told you, too many cooks, as if the problem was I was trying to do it on the computer. And the real problem was probably that I was being forced or against my cartoonist nature. I missed my black lines. I missed making big eyes. Give me those eyes, big eyes, big eyes. Give me big anime eyes. Working like this made me feel like everything was too stiff. I had to unlearn so much after I graduated. Cartoons are fine. Digital art is real art. And in the real world, as long as my foundational skills are good enough and I actually care about what I'm making, someone out there will probably like what I'm making. It just wouldn't pass a college illustration class. So, now that I graduated with two separate art degrees, I think I have the authority to say, I want to make this book the way I want to make this book. No grades, no client except for myself. Now that I have a YouTube channel to put it on. Maybe now it'll be enjoyed by someone out there. And if not, that's still okay, cause, because now I get to see what this book could have been. Stay tuned for part two of this video, where I'll completely redo that picture book and have some very talented voice actors read out all of the parts. And I'm really excited to see how it all turns out. Subscribe and ring the bell so you know as soon as this video goes up. Unless you're from the future and I have a video already linked around here somewhere. Then go watch it. I'm sure it's really good. You can follow me at Instagram and Twitter at LexiConjures. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.